What's up comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Hunter Comics and I got an epic unboxing. My wife put post-it notes on everything so I'm gonna find these grades out with you guys. I'm really excited and very hopeful. How I submit going forward because I have felt the tightened grip of some harsher grading is basically if I see a flaw, no matter how small in a book, I don't send it in. So everything I sent in has looked perfect to me. But as a whole, I actually haven't done much submitting this year. I'm always afraid I'm not going to have enough stuff for the Sunday claim sale, so I just move everything. And finally I said, stop. Why don't you send some of it off before you bring it to a claim sale? And now here's the result. So hopefully that was worth it. Let's get into it. Starting with a big boy, New Mutants 87. I have had the worst time with this book trying to get a 9.8, so I'm hoping that we can get it. 9.6. <laughs> I am the... I, I, I can't get it. Every time I try and think that this looks like the perfect 9.8, I, I can't quite get it. I will take a 9.6 white pages, though. Very happy with that. Let's move on. Then we have... Question number 33, first appearance of Harold Allnut. Second one I've ever submitted to CGC, and it both has a 9.8, so I'm feeling really good about that. By the way, everything is for sale. Everything's got to go, and because everything's got to go, I'm actually doing everything notably under FMV, so we want to make sure that people get some good deals. First appearance of Iron Maiden, Marvel Fanfare 11. And I think I was looking up the price of a 9.8 earlier, and I was pretty shocked to see how low that book has gotten. So, wow. Next up is Nightwing number one. Nice. 1996. Very desirable 9.8. I have never been able to get it, I don't think. Ooh, nice. 9.8, baby. There we go. 996. The first ongoing Nightwing series right there. Next up, we have a little bit of Green Lantern for me. You know, that's always going to be in here. Oh, 98. Very good. Okay. We're doing okay. How about, looks like Batman something. Batman 680. This is a weird one. This is an odd choice. I honestly think I just threw it in because it was a 1 in 25 variant from 2008. And what the heck. I knew it would get the 9.8. And it did. Uh, what if we only had one nine six so far? That's pretty good. That's actually really good. Okay. Knock on wood. Next up, we have Batman number two. First appearance of William Cobb as Talon. Nine eight. That's right. Next up, Batman number two. Same exact book. Nine eight. Okay, so we got two of those suckers. Very nice. How about uh, Batman Adventures Annual 1? Fun fact, this is actually the third appearance of Harley Quinn, I think. I forget. From 1994? I don't remember. First appearance of Roxanne Sutton. 9.6. I'll take a 9.6. Hoping for the 9.8. As I'm, I'm hoping for the 9.8 on every one of these. But it doesn't always work out that way, so that's okay. Next up, we have the first appearance of Negasonic Teenage Warhead. This is the variant of X-Men 115 from 2001. 9.8. Very nice. Rock and roll. There we go. Okay. we got a little more new X-Men. Now, here's the one. 133, first appearance of Dust. This is the one that if you can get the 9.8, it's like $400, which is insane. Ah! 9.6. Dang. I think I just narrowly missed a, a large payday on that one. That's okay. Uh, it's a hard 9.8 to get, and it's one of the biggest raw values to a 9.8 jump you'll ever see. 29 is the second appearance of Phantom X and first cover appearance. 9.8. Very good. 2002 right there. And then I believe, yes. First appearance of Phantom X, Professor X reveals the world that he is a mutant. Let's put that there. That this is a big one. 9.8. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to move these together. If you want to do a bundle, I'll make a bundle deal if you get the second and first appearance of Phantom X. 
JLA number one. This is a book I love submitting. Uh, it doesn't have the wildest value, but people love to have it, and I love to submit it. So there you go. Next up looks like a Detective Comics. Uh-oh. Okay, this is another book that I have submitted probably over ten times. First appearance of Stephanie Brown, spoiler, 1992. I've never gotten the 9.8. It's like the hardest, I swear to you, it's the hardest one to get. Are we breaking the chain? Oh, God, man. I can't get a 9.8 out of this book. Whew. Whatever. Dude, I swear, I have contributed so many 9.6 and 9.4s of that book to the census. It's ridiculous. Okay. All right. Moving on. Next up, uh, this is a one-of-a-kind. We've got a ASM 410 classic cover and a newsstand. 9.8, baby. Looking good. Whoa. We are getting way more 9.8s than 9.6s and 9.4s. Actually, I don't think we've had any 9.4s. Batman number six. Ah, there we go. 9.8. It's actually one that has a sneaky value right there. Watch out for that one. All right, I sent this one to my presser, um, and I thought he turned like a 9.2 into a 9.8, so... Let's see if I was right about that. We've got a Wonder Woman number one, 1987. First modern Themyscira. Oh, nine eight white pages. George Perez, Wonder Woman. That'll do it. That'll do, pig. Uh, second one I've ever submitted of these. Uh, Falcon's first solo title. Nine eight. Very nice. I'm liking our uh, ratios here. Okay, here's another 90s newsstand. War Machine number one. And it's interesting, they actually call it the Collector's Edition slash newsstand edition. Quite rare, quite valuable. If you can squeak the 9.8 on this. 1994. Oh, ho, ho, ho. War Machine number one, 98 newsstand. That's pretty nuts right there. That's a that's got some value for sure. Wow. All right, uh, a little bit more Green Lantern just for me. Nine eight, nice. That is one I did not have. And then we got some more Green Lantern just for me. Twenty seven. Nine six. Okay. Now my Green Lantern collection has to be perfect nine eight. So uh, if they don't get it, I try again. Oh, nine six. All right, double nine six in a row. Okay. Okay. All right, and we got uh, Nightwing number one. This is the new 52. Now our 1996 got the 9.8. Hopefully we can keep it. Ah, nine six. Uh-oh. Three nine sixes in a row. Okay. Then we have um, Elseworlds Giant, the 80 page. Don't get excited. This is the reprint uh, of uh, 80 page giant from 99. This is from 2012. This does not have much value. So even if it gets the 9.8, it's not that crazy. 9.8, there you go. Still great, not great book to have. It's just, if it was the 1999 one, it's worth crazy money. This is, this is not. Okay, Action Comics number nine, origin, first appearance of Calvin Ellis. Nine eight, nine six. Okay, take nine six on that. That's not bad. What's that? Two thousand twelve. Yep. Here's a book I love to submit, but wow, this is absolutely crushed in the corner. I wonder if you can see that. We're gonna have to do a mechanical error so that I can't put this one up for sale yet. Oh, and it got the nine eight two. Oh man. All right. Well, that's gonna have to go back to CGC. There's a giant crunch in the bottom of that corner there. All right, and then we have the first Superman blue suit right here. It's Superman 123, and it's actually a pretty valuable book if you get the 9.8. It's extra valuable if you have the second printing, which has the cover that I honestly like significantly better. And it got the 9.6, but I have another one. Let's see. Nine point, there we go, there we go. Blue suit, blue suit Superman. 
Nine eight baby. All right, then we have a watch out for this book. This is uh, Final Crisis: Rage of the Red Lanterns, which is the actual first appearance of Atrocitus, and is one of the ones where a later printing is more valuable than the first. If you can find this third printing, it looks like this. This is the most valuable of them all. I cheated. I actually saw on the back that it's a nine eight, and there we go, nine eight. That's got some nice value for Green Lantern fans, and that's. That's a harder one from the Jeff Johns run to collect than some of the others. This Elseworlds Finest, which has an unbelievably terrible Newton ring. Holy smokes. Okay, whatever. Let's go for the 9-8. 9-6. Man, I was actually hoping because this was square bound that this one would get a 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh, well. I'll take a 9-6. You know what? We'll do that as the giveaway for the video. Um, I'll choose one of your comments down below, and you'll be the winner of that book right there. All right, big money. Here we go. This is another one that I sent to my presser, and I thought he did an amazing job. I always thought it looked like a 9.8, but I sent it previously to a CGC unboxing and uh, did a 9.8 pre-screen. They did not do it. So uh, he went to town on it. He pressed it. And it got the 9.8. That actually used to be, it used to be like a $500 book. That fifth printing with the DC Universe logo variant was always very tough to get. I think it's actually maybe like 400 or less now. I honestly don't know. I haven't kept an eye on that. But that is the one of all the Man of Steel 18s you want to get. That one has the craziest value. And oh, just two books left. Batman number one, New 52. Classic. 9-8. Sure. That works. And then we have two of them. So, oh, both of them got the 9-8. Very nice. And that actually concludes the unboxing. But I have another about 10 slabs, since I'm showing you books for sale, that I'm doing massive price slashing on. Batman and Robin Adventures, number 7. Awesome Scarface cover. Uh, Flash 110, which is the origin and first appearance of Wally West and Weather Wizard. Weather Wizard? Yes. Flash 110, first Wally, baby. Uh, we do have an authority number one. It's going up for sale. Uh, you saw the news with James Gunn that's going to be made into a movie. So that's awesome. We have a 9 0 of Batman 251. Uh, it used to be at 9.4. It actually got a grade drop, and I thought it was going to get a grade bump. So, crack and repress, reclean, I think there's room for that to grow. I was shocked to see that get the 9.0. Uh, Spider Man 2099, number one. This is the impossible to get 9.8 uh, that, that came with the toy. That's got some crazy value on it. That's pretty sweet. Speaking of crazy value, how about an Invincible number one? I'm putting it up for sale. Whatever. It's got to go. Invincible number one, baby. Next up is All-Star Squadron 25. That's the first appearance of, like, everybody. Obsidian, Adam Smasher. First appearance of Jade. And I have the copy signed by Roy Thomas, creator of all those characters. First Infinity Inc. right there. That's a big deal. Big deal book. That's for sale. Then, you'll be shocked to see I'm putting this one up. New Teen Titans 2. First appearance of Deathstroke and Trigon. It's got to go. That is signed by Marv Wolfman, folks. Next up, I have the first appearance of Starman uh, Jack Knight. It's also the rare Toys R Us variant edition, as you can see by the Zero Hour logo right there. This is even says up there the multi-pack edition. And finally, a Spider-Man key cosmic carnage right here. We've got Amazing Spider-Man 430. Classic Silver Surfer carnage cover right there. Everything's got to go. So we are intentionally going way lower than the recent sales on everything that's going to be shown here tonight just to ensure that you get a good deal that i get stuff and i keep it moving because man the space is really filling in so i've got two storage units they're completely full i've got an antique store it's full and i don't want to have to start 
filling up my house. So everything's got to go. I'll see you folks next week. Don't forget to stop in the antique shop. Last chance to get your 30% off X-Men. This video is dropping on Saturday. It literally ends tomorrow on Sunday. Monday, we're going to do a different 30% off. So get ready. I love you all. Keep on hunting. See you soon. Make sure to come down to Sentiment Depot Antiques and Collectibles where I'm set up with all of my comics located at 238 West Delaware Ave, Pennington, New Jersey. Open every day except for Monday and Tuesday. Enjoy 10% off from Wednesday to Friday. See you there.